Ajibade is 48. He says he has been smoking cigarettes for more than 27 years. He has no plans to give it up. Whenever I have a headache or cold, I reach out for a cigarette. I have never suffered any ill health from smoking, and I would never stop smoking. Scientists have long discovered that cigarette is composed of more than 4,000 toxic chemicals. This chest physician says while nicotine is addictive, tar is the most dangerous substance in tobacco. The damaging part is not the nicotine, but the tar. The tar that goes with the nicotine. Tar contains a lot of chemical agents that cause cancers, cause hypertension, damage all parts of the body. If it were possible to get cigarettes that contain only nicotine, then there will be no problem. Anti-tobacco campaign has been a global movement for decades. However, the manufacturers keep adjusting their marketing strategies to remain in business. A subtle way is the distribution of free branded products like this umbrella and this refuse bin. In Nigeria, on every packet of cigarettes is inscribed. The Federal Ministry of Health warns that smokers are liable to die young. But anti-tobacco campaigners say the warning is neither strong enough nor visibly frightening enough to deter smokers from either continuing smoking or not smoking at all. Tobacco adults are extremely deceptive. They don't tell you about what actually had the inherent dangers in smoking. This environmental rights activist also emphasized the need for African countries to emulate South Africa and Kenya by enacting laws to regulate cigarette smoking. At the national level, to ensure that Nigeria has a comprehensive bill that will include you know, provisions like complete ban of advertisement sponsorship and promotion, protection of the rights of non-smokers not to be exposed to the dangerous you know, chemicals inherent. The World Health Organization reports a steady increase of tobacco use in Africa, in contrast to the decline in developed countries. It says tobacco kills more than 5 million people worldwide. The figure is anticipated to double by 2030. Until the trend is checked, bystanders and infants inhaling puffed out poisonous smoke from cigarettes will remain at risk. Vivian Irikefe, TVC News, Lagos.